every time women say, oh, I'm not cooking and cleaning for a man, you lose me. And I'm going to tell you why. When we go on a date, this is him making his investment. I got one job. Go be as fun as possible. Be as interesting as possible. In See, ladies, I'm convinced a lot of you are jealous. A lot of you are jealous because pick me is get picked. You call a woman that doesn't agree with you, doesn't believe in the sisterhood, doesn't follow modern women, doesn't do what modern women do, a pick me, but yet you're jealous because that pick me is picked. And you're not. You're single, you're bitter, you're hateful, and you're alone. <laughs> What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. Just show up and be entertaining for him because this is money. This is investment. So when he asked me, to cook for him, I have no problem doing it because I want to show you what it feels like to be catered to and taken care of by me. Y'all can miss me every single time when you saying you ain't getting in the kitchen, but you got some coochie. Because there is no way I want a man to show me he can provide for me, he can protect me, he can honor me, he can court me, he'll respect me, and he'll be outside with me showing me a good time. But I'm too good to just walk in the kitchen and bang some pots and pans. It will never make sense to me. If he want me to cook for him, the same way I want him to take me on a date, guess what? I'm going to get up and I'm going to go cook. Shout out to this content creator. I believe her name is Paradise Paris. The whole purpose of a date for a woman is to give the man an experience of what it's like being with her. Yep. The whole point of a date for a man is to give a woman an experience of being with her, with him. Yep. But see, women don't want to do that. They want to have their cake and they want to eat it too. They want to do what a man can do, but they want to be a woman. See, women and men are made different. We think different. We act different. We talk different. We're biologically different. You cannot be a man. Yep. I didn't say things like, I hate all men, and then they turn around and act like a man. Something that I've noticed is women would always say that men only use women, and they don't know how to listen. Those are two things. And one, women don't like to listen to men, so there's one thing that they get to check off too. And another thing is they use men for their wallets. And then they turn around and say men are dogs because they sleep around. But when they sleep around, it's sexual liberation, right? Women also have a lot of standards for guys. Like they need to be six foot, they need to be fit, they need to look exactly the way they want it, they want to be a soft bad boy. But when a man has standards, it's narcissistic and it's toxic masculinity and body shaming. So women hate the thing that they're turning into. So they hate themselves. It's always a double standard. You notice that when a woman does something, it's okay. When a man does something, it's wrong. When a woman does something, it's empowerment. When a man does something, it's wrong. Let's look at it. Women want an older man? Preference. Man want a younger woman? Predator. Women don't date broke men, preference. Man doesn't date single mothers, immature. Women want a dominant man, preference. Men want a submissive woman, misogyny. Women set boundaries, empowering. Men set boundaries, controlling. Wow, the land 
of make-believe. There's always a double standard when it comes to women versus men, men versus women. When are we going to sit down and just say, you know what? I'm a woman and I'm going to stick to that. You're a man. You're going to stick to that. Because the problem is we have so many modern women in the dating market that want to be men so bad that they're upset that other women that are not modern women are not doing what they're doing, but they're getting picked. So they insult them and call them a pick me. It's time to look yourself in the mirror, modern women, and realize that you have become the very thing that you hate. You've become misogynistic. You've become a man-hater. You've become a femcell. You have become a man. You have become the opposite of a woman, and therefore, it's not that you hate men. You hate yourself. You are projecting your hate of yourself on men. That's what you're doing. You get on Twitter, and you go viral over dumb statements. You get on the internet and you do anything possible for attention, even if it means a negative attention. So many women are so unhappy with their lives because they're single, they're old, they're miserable, they're washed up, they're defeated, and they know that no man wants to date them. It's just like I did a whole show on incels. The same rules can be applied to modern women. You know what men want. Just like an incel knows what women want. The problem with modern women and the problem with incels is the exact same thing. All you have to do to get what you want is to do something different than what you're doing now. How about instead of being masculine as a woman, you become feminine? How about instead of you being hard to deal with, hard-headed and stubborn, how about you be nice, easygoing, and caring? Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! How about instead of being mean, hateful, and spiteful, you be nice, friendly, and optimistic? All you have to do, ladies, is do the exact opposite of what you're doing now, and you will get a man. You will become a woman that gets picked. But instead of you doing that, you look down, you demean and degrade, and talk bad about the women that are trying to help you. You'll talk bad about male content creators that are trying to help you. But in the end, you can lead a horse to you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this channel. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You're going to see me in the next video that will be coming on your screen. And until the next video, peace.